Uh, so this week, there was a very cool announcement, at least from my perspective. Uh, Game Builder Garage was announced randomly by Nintendo just after they did their full year financial results. Uh, Swinney, as the maker among us, do you want to do you want to cover this? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to cover <laughs> it, but uh, it's uh, something that relates more to the New Year resolutions of both of you two than uh, than me. But uh, we'll touch anyway, on that. We'll touch kinda. on that. Yeah, yeah. So essentially, Game Builder Garage is a new game or you know tool, or you could say, a piece of software that Nintendo are bringing out that allows people to build some you know fun looking little games and learn very rudimentary programming skills in a very visual manner um so yeah it follows in the footsteps of you know their approach to games like murray maker and labo's toycon garage mode but is very also along the lines of media molecules dreams and a lot of what people could do in little big planet as well um mm. so the game uses- i'd probably equate it to scratch as well, if you guys are familiar with that, the, the educational semi-programming language. Okay. I think the kids. I think the dreams comparison's fair. I get what you're and saying as well. as well. Yeah, but you know it's, what I mean. It's very. It, when I saw it, I'm like, wow, that kind of looks like Scratch. It's kind of in between. It's, it's yeah. A, yeah, Scratch and dreams mash yeah. them together. Mm. So the game uses like these little creatures known as nodons to handle different elements of game programs. So you got like cool idea, a nodons. control stick that's like a little cartoon control stick and then you got like the audio and things like that. So there's lots of little I think there's you know a couple of dozen of them. Um and the trailer that they showed off um shows, you know, pretty wide variety of different mm. genres of games, you know, obviously you got platformers but they had like racing games, shooter mass, puzzle games. Some of the stuff looks really really neat. Um now obviously you got going to get the probably the best of what the game what you know like not everyone's going to be able to create a lot of those games straight away but um from what i've seen you know they they run you through they lay, they show you how to build different game types but then there's like a free programming mode that you can essentially just run wild with um but the good part as well is that you can you know you can share your games online now i don't know I don't know if you, if you know whether or not you put it up for everyone or if it's just for friends. I assume it's up yeah. for everyone. So I check that and you have to have the game to play the other games. Oh, yeah. No, with it. no, I'd assume that. But as in, could you just put it up for public consumption? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you can also share them via wireless um, as well. And mm-hmm. the game will support, uh, will have USB mouse support, but it says compatible mouse. So I don't know if every uh-huh. single USB mouse is going to work or not. Um, it's kind of vague. And they haven't confirmed if there's uh, keyboard support, but it doesn't look like the kind of thing that's going to need keyboard support outside of, hey, it's going to be easier to add text into this kind of thing. Um, and it comes out the 11th of June for 50 Australian dollars, which is pretty good for a Nintendo game. Pretty good, actually, yeah. Game, so. Yeah, no, I, I think it's awesome. Like, this is the yeah, day same. one buy for me. Like, this is really cool. I love, like, I almost just, like, fundamentally just want to support this kind of stuff. Uh, and then also like, I'm really keen to play around with this with my, my kid eventually, like he's way too young at the moment, but Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, yeah, as we know, you can do Q basic back in the day. Uh, and that's a pretty young age, man. That's like a little harder than this, but yeah, (laughs) but that's like five or six that a lot of kids start doing that. Like I started coding and stuff when I was maybe five. So yeah, yeah, it's a year and a bit away for, for my kid, which is nuts. Grade one, I was, I was, uh, getting the turtle to move across the screen to click the, the, the dot or whatever um <laughs> yeah look uh, this is absolutely amazing um it honestly it's not the kind as much as i love Mari maker i generally mm. not it doesn't appeal to me to have a tool to create my own games it's just never appealed to me but i love the idea because yeah. i love seeing what comes out of it and the but creativeness you know, I, like and i i don't know it's, nintendo is impossible to just predict like it's so hard to understand what they do I remember talking to Vooks, who runs Vook.net, which is like the Australian Nintendo site. And, you know, he's been covering Nintendo for like 15 years or 20 years, sorry. And like, he, even he's just like, I don't know what they're going to do. Like, <laughs> you just don't know. Like, it, it's impossible to predict. And he like talks to the PR people. He knows way more than we do and 99.99% of other people. And yeah, they're just so hard to predict. Mm-hmm. And I just look at this and I go... I think it's a shame that they haven't made it that you can have like a and maybe they'll they'll do it, you know, Nintendo changes their mind or does stuff and you just don't predict it. But I really wish that they had like a game builder garage player or game builder player like app on the on the Nintendo store where you can install like a player and then you have access to play the games that people make. 
Because mm. I think that'd just be really cool where it's like, and then you could build something, share it to all your friends, and then they can install it. Whereas they might still do it. They might. They might. Do it, they know? might. Even yeah. if, mean, even if like it, to me, it does make sense as a free thing. But even if they put it up as like a ten dollar app or something, you know, like to well, that's me- next level. That'd be so cool if they did that. Yeah. That would be insane. But, you know, I don't think they would because it's like there's a lot of work involved in that kind of stuff. And I don't think they want just like shovelware going up on the on the, the store, even though it's almost getting to that point at the moment. Uh, yeah, no, this is this is really, really cool, man. So do you reckon you're going to get it, Swinny? Because I think, you know, Mike and I will be getting this, but... Uh, I'm not sure, honestly. Um, I still feel like I've got so much time... Um, and stuff to, to create the Mario Maker, which is obviously a very different thing. You're yeah. not programming or anything. Uh. But um, to me, I kind of like that kind of style of tool set as opposed to, you know, I'm, I'm not creative enough to create my own game. I want to use someone else's game. Yeah, you game. are. <laughs> yeah, you even made a few. <laughs> but um, You made more games than we did, technically. I know, I know. I think, <laughs> I think Sony is very creative. But, I, I, I object to that. But Your yeah, I, I object. Think, You're wrong. You're my, wrong. <laughs> my question comes to uh, our news yes. gaming resolution. So... Mm. The Intergot, one of your gaming resolutions was to publish a game in 2021. And Mike, mm. one of yeah. yours was to make a game in yeah. 2021. Yeah. So from my, as the, I guess, impartial judge. Uh, <laughs> You're not this, impartial. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that if you created something that was a, an end-to-end experience in this game, then Mike could theoretically use this game to meet that resolution but unless nintendo have a way to get people to put stuff on even on a section on the eShop, then indigo i don't think you could use it i, I, <laughs> I fully agree with your analysis and this is why you need uh, to have smart goals no nah, nah, that is the smart goal i made a smart goal <laughs> no this is the exact- you're the one that didn't make a smart goal <laughs> this is the exact point see for me it's very easy to go it doesn't fulfill my criteria, right? It doesn't, right? Whereas Mike, it's so up to interpretation. How many games does he buy? That's How many why games smart. does he play? That's why it's smart. It's not smart. It's it bullshit. Is. I just, it's smart with lowercase smart, Mike, not you're fired. uppercase you're fired. smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think if you make a game, and this is a problem, it's, it's subjective. I think if it's like at least not a BS game, then it probably does tick the box. Nice. So, but, but it has to be it has to be featured. Knowing Can't Mike, he won't even do that. Though. No, he won't. I know it's true. He's <laughs> no, really lazy. I'll try. He's I'm lazy. not lazy. I just I'm really, really, really busy unfocused. With unfocused. A lot of stuff. Let's just say unfocused. Just busy. Uh, well, you, hey, if I don't even have time to play games during the week, well, of course you, you do. I'm gonna find time to. Do. Well, you have. I actually uh, legit did not this week. Well, you <laughs> have. You, do. you have just over six months from the release date of. Game ma- uh, game builder garage. I keep trying to say game maker garage. It's a good amount to, of time <laughs> to use that avenue to complete your resume. Good I do amount like of time. People have been saying game builder ga- garbage, <laughs> <laughs> which is probably what most of the games will be. No, but... I don't think so. No, oh, they will be actually. Yeah. <laughs> Just looking at the smash, <laughs> at the smash stages that are available. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> if God. it's anything like oh, that, God. so you're gonna am... get some amazing <laughs> things though. So I'm looking I do, forward to it. I do wonder about their content mod- moderation because. It does allow you to like draw and do all this other stuff. I'm like, mm. oh man, this is gonna be rife with really bad stuff very quickly. Um, yeah, no, I, this is a day one purchase for me. I'm really looking forward Same. to it. They, not Resident Evil Eight, but <laughs> Game Builder Garage. <laughs> By the way, we are a gaming podcast. All right, let's go on to our next uh, story. <laughs> <laughs> 